Oh, hi. Woo! What's up, everybody? It's we Mike. got we. It's Dave. We got the two best Canlander decks. New in meta. <laughs> New meta. New Doctors meta. Doctors and birds. Doctors and birds. <laughs> oh, uh, Tom's gonna fix our name. My name and the scores. I should have done that before. Yeah. Anyway, so. a little bit of technicals. But yeah, um, we're just gonna be piloting it from here. Uh, yeah. At the, at the computer, so you're not gonna see the scores change. Uh, but if you're watching in post on YouTube. Yes, you will. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One of the flaws with this deck is that it's four colors and it is so freaking loose. Uh, but I think we can run this. So one of the flaws of this deck is the hunting. <laughs> Humble brag. That's Humble brag. like saying my greatest flaw is I work. I yeah. do work too hard. It's Dave one of my great. Yeah, it's one of my greatest flaws, you know. Say that in an interview. You will never get a job. But guess what? I did, and I got a job. It was. You said it in this interview. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. Dave, <laughs> on the die roll. I think he's going first. You mulligan. It's down to six. Uh, yeah, I'm mulligan down to six. So we got a pretty good start of hand. I like it. I'm gonna play this Birds of Paradise. Thanks. Look at that. Bird. Bird. I'm already beating you at your own game. <laughs> How dare you. Uh, I'm gonna play this Cave of the Frost Dragon. Oh, untapped. Mm. Seems good. Yeah, but I'm not gonna do anything. I thought I had to tap. Pass. <laughs> tap my keep and draw. Look at that. Everyone can see this. Can you see this? You see this? Look at this. Look at his hand. Oh, no. I know, right? It's all over. Don't be, so all over. Don't be so dramatic, Thomas. I'm applying drama skills. I can't help it. Yeah. Let's get a blue white land. Kaiga. Mm, tundra. Tundra, that's the one I meant. Which color is a Taiga? Uh, Taiga is red, red green. green. You did turn that, that mic still off, right, Thomas? The, the snowball? Just so we're not echoing? It's flashing? Yep. Then yes, Excellent. Good. Awesome. Thanks, Thomas. Thanks, Thomas. Do this. Goodbye. Fortnite dance out of here. Uh, I'm going to play the 11th Doctor. Oh, hello. I am talking. He's talking. Go ahead. I'm going to play Marsh Flats. I'm gonna crack the marsh flats. You, you lost a life, right? Um, yes, I lost a life. I'll get, uh. Jeez, I don't even know what's in here. Oh, apparently there's a Rishadan port. <laughs> um. Honestly, most of the. I don't think there's any duels in this, one, in this game, in this deck. Uh. There's no cover flats. Most of them were just, yeah, for getting fetches and. Um, Filtering's not a what thing. Does this do? Uh, so if I hit you, if I deal combat damage with the Eleventh Doctor, um, then I get to basically suspend a card from my hand with uh, time counters equal to its mana value. Oh, that's a good card. One of the better Doctors. Well, the three mana Doctors, not bad. Not bad. Um, but they all revolve around attacking, which is completely antithetical <laughs> to their uh, whole. The Doctor doesn't attack well. He does kind of. He kill. attacks with words. He kills a lot of people. Yeah, for being like, for preaching pacifism, the doctor kills a lot of people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's only one episode where everybody lives, <laughs> and they made a point of saying it. <laughs> it was also one of the most traumatic episodes of the, the whole thing. It was, uh, are you my mummy? Oh no! There's two episodes where everybody walls. They get turned into uh, Kindle uh, e-books, but. Anyways. I don't think that counts. <laughs> I don't think it counts. <laughs> um, so if this hits me... If it hits you, I get to suspend something. something. Okay, I will pass. Cool. Wait, it's a what? A 3-2? Yeah, I'll pass. Upkeep the drow. And what's the other part? Two, dark creature with power three or less can't be blocked this turn. Oh, that's a good thing to know. Thank you. <laughs> we play this ancient tomb. Oh, that's an ancient tomb. I'm going to play this twice upon a time. And I get to search my library for a Doctor card. So that's an adventure? That's an adventure, so it's exiled. In the adventure zone. Oh, adventure! Adventure is out there. 
Um, I think I want a cheap one. I like the ninth Doctor. That was a good pair last time. So, fantastic. Fantastico. Uh, we get three counters on the ninth Doctor. That goes to your hand. Oh, yeah. well, yeah, it goes to my hand, but I'm sorry, I'm skipping to the end. Uh, I'm going to attack you with the eleventh Doctor. Alright, I'm going to kill him and give you a clue. Oh, sorry. Yeah, destroy him and give you a clue. No! <laughs> I wasn't letting that happen. No. <laughs> I was hoping you'd make him unblockable for some reason. For some, well, I'd wait till you played some Flash Bird. Yeah. Some Flash 2 1. Ha <laughs> ha, he's unblockable. Uh, Pastor, that's my turn, I think. I don't have the TARDIS. Go ahead. Alright. Draw. I'm gonna play a snow covered planes. I'll play two. I'll play one for a Shadow Spear. Two for a strict proctor. That seems good. Uh, in response to you casting strict proctor, okay, this, this. it's um, whenever a permanent entering the battlefield causes a triggered ability, you okay. pay two or it's counted. We're good. Alright, that's it. Uh, I'm going to crack this club. Lose to life. Draw. Pretty good. Neato. Draw. Off turn. So everyone at home knows, there's a lot of uh, hybrid lands like this. It's a mono like that. <laughs> Anything that doesn't have uh, white in its mana cost does have white in its mana cost. I like. Um, is there any reason for me to attack this creature? Not really. Whenever permanent entering would cause a triggered ability, it doesn't unless you pay two. Zero mana, ape and mind sensor. Go. Whenever a permanent. Yeah, whenever a permanent entering the battlefield causes a triggered ability to trigger, counter that ability unless its controller pays two. I hate that card. It's friggin' gross. It is very good. Uh, oh, that's a, that's a nice landfall deck you have there. It'd be a shame if you had to pay two for every landfall that they were I just have random cards that do things when they enter the battlefield that I think are great. And what? now they suck. Now they suck. <laughs> Um. Well, I guess I'll just play this ninth doctor then. Mm. Is he uh, so he has haste, but we'll just bump it, we'll bump against each other. Uh, and then whenever the ninth doctor becomes untapped during your untap step, you get an additional upkeep step after this step. Cool. Mm, go ahead. Alrighty. Oh, that has flying. That's fine. Um. Do I? Well, that goes fine. I want an additional upkeep step. No, I don't care. Go ahead. Alright, I will draw. I will play this silent clearing. Mm -hmm. And then I will tap four mana, taking one damage. And casting Fosato! Oh, no. Uh, for those of you who are Italian, it's moat. Uh, non flying creatures can't attack. Continue for one. Okay, guys, there might be only one way I can win now. <laughs> <laughs> the TARDIS. Gallifrey stands. Oh, Gallifrey stands. <laughs> if you beat me with that, I attack you for one. Uh, take one. Pass. Oh, no. I did it, Reddit. Someone call Jay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, Moat, call Jay. Where's the phone number? No. <laughs> Jay, cast it. Okay, <laughs> Bob. What do we do? <laughs> what do we do? Uh, so untap, upkeep, draw for turn. This is a real Italian moat, moat, and it is for sale, but it's also in this deck. Yeah, this is this is Jay, the owner's deck, yeah. and that is his, the owner's moat. I really should take it up the deck. I'm going to play it all this time. No, it's not a bad idea. Um, what the heck do I do here? Ooh, off topic. Did yeah. you see that the, you know the art for the new Wayfarer's bubble? From Exxon? No. No. So first of all, it looks really cool. Um, the background art of it was uh, stolen. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, so we have another thing happening with the art at Wizards. Uh, I'm going to play this Bitter Reunion, and I am going to indeed pay two mana to get its ETB effect. Gotcha. <laughs> 
Uh, I'm going to discard this uh, Snapcaster Mage, uh -huh. and I am going to draw two cards. I don't know what I'm finding, but I need to be proactive right now. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to neoform the ninth doctor. Into the tenth doctor. Uh cannot. Uh, it's a, it's not a four drop. Uh, the tenth doctor is a five drop. Oh. Sad. This might be the day of the birds, guys. Finally, win a round. Like, win a, an entire stream. Uh, I am going to get Timeless Witness. Oh no. And then I'm going to return to Neoform to my hand. That seems like cheating. <laughs> Sad that we gotta win somehow, and one of those ways is uh, Seeker Walk Infinite Turns. So, go ahead. Turn? Yep, go ahead. Did you put the neoform back in your hand? Uh, yes I did. Draw. But, uh, we will start... And play an Honor of the Pure. Oh boy. White creatures I control get plus one plus one. I don't have very long to do this though. I will equip the Shadow Spear. Yep. This is now a... 3-3. Three, 2-4. Three. 3-5. Two, two, with uh, life on mm -hmm. trample. Mm -hmm. Attack. Pass. Okay. We need to do some things quick. I believe in you, Dave. Uh, thanks. Yeah, honestly. Thank you. <laughs> oh. I'm not supposed to see that. <laughs> But we get to play some more uh, questionable, questionable cards, which I love. Um, let's sacrifice this. Get even closer to death. Ten. Comment uh, in the chat if you think I should play in the Camlander Invitational Qualifier on Saturday. Okay. Uh, sure. Beat some people up at first. You should. It's real fun, honestly. Favorite format. Um, people like um, I take I take having fun in this format very seriously. Um, this deck is. I know this deck is bad. I know it's not optimal, but I am having so much fun playing it right now. <laughs> it looks like a lot of fun. The Doctor uh, Who cards are so cool. Yeah. Um, so, I need to... Yeah. These two cards to play Regenerations Restored. It has okay. Vanishing 12. Whenever one or more time counters are removed, I gain a life and scry 1. Uh, yeah, I guess that works. Uh, and uh, and I gain one life. Uh, then, uh, if it has no counters, I get an extra turn. And it exiles. And it exiles. Uh, then, hold on. Enters the battlefield. Oh. So you have to pay two, or else it doesn't get its time counters. When it has no time counters on it. Can I read it? Judge! Phil? Phil! Judge? The chairman enters the battlefield with two things. Um, I have a strict proctor on. Yep. This is Phil. <laughs> I don't know if you can see him. You can't. You can't. Uh, I have a strict proctor, which means that it, it uh, stops enter the battlefield triggers unless he pays two. So what happens if it enters with no count? With vanishing. With the vanishing. Does it just immediately exile itself and you, like, he gets an extra turn, or does it just sacrifice itself? Because I'm down. 
But I think it says and then. Then if no. If there's no counters, so I think you have to. Remove I have to remove a counter from it. So let's have to go. Let me go and try to take a little bit. Sorry. Well. <laughs> In the meantime, we'll keep talking about the stolen heart on Wafer. Bubble. Okay, awesome. sure, yeah. Yeah, so somebody on Twitter tweeted like, Hey, Wizards, I don't know, somebody at your place just kind of took my heart and used it in this card. And he shows the original, and it's a mirror of the background art of the new Wayfair bubble. So, like, the guy took his, his painting and just flipped it around and put it as the background image for behind the guy holding the bubble. <laughs> so... He didn't change, he changed like a tiny bit, but like the building still had the window in the same spot with the street across the building. And oh, okay. So, when you said stolen art, I thought somebody had their, like, their art, their like... No. The art piece that they submitted, stolen. No, no, no. no. Somebody... Somebody took uh, art from like someone on... On, uh, on the internet. On the, on the internet, yeah. yeah. They, they plagiarized the art. Like yeah. They flipped it uh, like backwards so they thought they would get away with it. So yeah, that person is also not doing art for wizards for the time being. Yay. I think they'd learn after uh, the Bolas. <laughs> um, what's that dragon board clear called Crux again? Crux of, no, Fate. Crux of Fate. Which is great art, but it was stolen. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a, it's a thing when, yeah. So, weirdly enough, I actually don't think this is a trigger to Oh, because it enters with. With, correct. Uh, does it say enters with? Okay. It enters with. Yeah, I just want to double check because it, when it enters, it doesn't quit the twelve hammer. Okay. Right. It enters with it. It so would say when this enters the battlefield, you quit twelve. Exactly. Does it never triggers? So it never goes on stack. Gotcha. That's why. So it has the counters. So it has the counters. So when this enchantment enters the oh okay, this enchantment enters, enters the battlefield, battlefield with. with. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just had to double check. Thanks, Phil. There we go. So it has 12 counties. Okay. Thank you, friends. Thank you, Phil. Well, well, I'm gonna fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Phil is uh, the Encyclopedia Philatanicus. False. <laughs> then I'm going to kneel form the Stylus Witness. Okay, we'll have five drum. Is this the 11th Doctor? Uh, it could be the 11th Doctor is in the graveyard. It could be the 10th Doctor. Oh, the 10th Doctor. It could be a better card. <laughs> it could have made each Doctor cost their mana cost. Uh, no. Or cost their number. Like mana cost their number. I would hate that. Why? Because it, it turns just... it into a birthing pot deck. You kill one of the doctors to make it Oh, that's doctor. actually never Flavorful, mind. Flavorful, right? Never mind, that's funny. Yeah. The only issue would be the war doctor would be also an ace. Right? Um, that's not bad. I might take that. Um, oh, wait, but I can't attack. No, this everything's bad right now. Uh, da -da -da -da. Full circle. Um, wow, everything's bad, and I can't do uh, one or less. I have to do one more. A dollar entertained. So this might. This might. Uh, this might be a uh, mark for birds. Uh oh, boys. Birds are gonna take one. Plague doctors used to wear bird masks for a reason. They knew. They knew. <laughs> so I think I am going to get the tenth doctor because I think that is the best one for me right now. But he has an attack trigger, and he can't attack. Well. Uh, so that's not good. That's no buenos. No buenos. That is my turn. I think. Yeah. Alright. I'm Taparino. I'm draw. <laughs> Don't look at your cards. <laughs> Don't look at my cards. Don't read what they do. I want to. I'm gonna pay four. And cast Sarah the Benevolent. That's really good right now. It's very good right now, because I'm going to minus three and make a 4-4 four, four Angel with Flying and Vigilance. Neato. This is a 4-4 four, four Angel with Flying and Vigilance. Neato. And I'll attack for three. Take three. Okay. Okay, untap. Come on, Regeneration's restored. Help me out. Uh, 
So, vanishing, I gain a life, I get the scry. For two mana, honestly, can you drop that turn two in Commander, as an example? Even in, actually, Camlander, if you drop mm -hmm. the turn two, you're scrying on turn. Well, you did the thing. I think you're putting on top? Uh, I'm keeping this, and I'm drawing this. Okay. Go deck. Oh, Come man. on. <laughs> Come oh, on, no. doctors. <laughs> I have them on the ropes. Doctors without borders, let's do it. I have lethal <laughs> on board. Okay, so I'm going to play. Oh, I'll play nothing. Please. I'm going to play Karn's Temporal Sundering. Oh, you get an extra turn. So, target player takes an extra turn after this one. Return up to one target non land permanent to its owner's hand. No! Moat! <laughs> that was my wind con. Uh, I am going to then, and this gets exiled. Yes. So who did you target for the extra turn? Me? I get an extra turn. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. I am then going to attack you with the 10th dog. It's a 5 five. No! <laughs> uh... Okay. Does it have to hit me, or is it attack? It does have to attack. I want it to live. Well, I'm five, five. I, I kind of need this card to live. Oh no. Okay. Well, I get another turn. Let's okay. see what let's see what we run. Um, untap. Oh man, that extra turn took you out of lethal. Oh no, I have lethal. We better um, be here. upkeep. Scry. I don't need this. Going to the bottom. All right. Draw. Oh. That sucks. Uh, not what I would like to see, uh, but I'm going to do some cheating here. Uh, it says whenever I attack, I can attack with Birds of Paradise. Where did that bird come from? I always had it. I cast it turn one. Oh, it's on your <laughs> land. Yeah, I was just holding. <laughs> Sorry. You know, this guy did this once with a yeah, uh, Dryad Arbor, and he got, it was very really controversial. Just saying. Sorry, bro. That's fine. You just got to block this. I could have, but I'm not gonna. That's I'm, I'm gonna use it for attack triggers. That's fair, yeah, for fair. crazy suspend shenanigans. Uh, yeah, that gets blocked, but whenever I attack, exile cards from the top of my library until you exile a non land card, put three time counters on it. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna ex exile this Rumwalker. Not as good as I would have hoped. Uh, do you still have lethal? I do still have Lethal again. Because this gives all of my flying creatures one lunch. This is a sick mode of your You know what's the worst part? Huh. This counts as a doctor. I could have cast twice upon a time from the Adventure Zone if this was in the battlefield. That's nice. And I can use the 10th Doctor's ability, Timey Wimey. <laughs> Timey Wimey! <laughs> to time it. travel three times. Oh wow, that's good. Cool. Which would have brought this down and brought this down, which gains me a life, but I'd have to use Ancient Tomb to use it. Which, well, you're already at lethal. I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> Game two? Game two. Um, I was sitting on a solitude oh. and then a couple other things. Oh, you could have just, like, killed any one of my creatures at any time. I could have. I should have. You know, I could have just exiled the doctor and then I would have won. You know, I didn't think of that, but hey. Hindsight. It's all right. We were almost cooking with doctors. That was cool. I love the doctors. Um, I think uh, this is another deck that might be perfectly suited against my deck. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? If I didn't, if I hadn't drawn the moat, in yeah, my opening hand, um, you would have won. You drew the deck's namesake, so I did. We'll call Jay. Moat. Mm. Jay. <laughs> yeah, and why why is this deck so revolving around like attacking. combat and attacking? It's it very strange. Doesn't make sense for a doctor deck, but like every like the the ninth, tenth, and eleventh doctor all attack to do their things. I mean, they, the whole like arc of them was like fighting off things every single episode, like actually fighting the Daleks and the Cybermen, right? Like, I don't I don't think they ever like threw a punch. Like, the way that the Doctor fights is like, 
gets other people to do. It. He gets other people to do it. He blows up spaceships with a screwdriver. Yeah. Yeah. I am talking. Yeah. Yeah. He, like he's not gonna like fire the missile, but he'll hijack the heat-seeking missile and then have it blow up this old man. Yeah. <laughs> we'll like how you cut it. Uh yeah. The Daleks have fired a laser beam at Earth. Oh, well, I'm gonna reroute the laser beam, and it's gonna hit the Dalek mother ship, and they're all gonna explode. No. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm a pacifist. Pacifism. <laughs> Violence is never the answer. <laughs> oh. oh, this is a risky hand. What does this do? This hand is fun. Let's play it. You know what? Let's try. Your first. Yep. Um, guess what? Not the exact same turn as the first one, but oh. close. Uh, no, no, I'm, this time. I'm going to get a target, and then I'm going to play this little hero. And I'm going to pass. Ah, oh, there we go. Cave of the Frost Dragon. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. Play a judge's role. That's a bird. That's a bird. I can sacrifice judges for money to counter target instant or sorcery spell once the controller clean pays one. And then after you find your Taiga, it's your turn. Come on, Taiga. Sure. Three cards. You know what the top card of my deck was? Ah. Uh, it was a temporal mastery. Temporal mastery. Could have had an extra turn. But he didn't. Uh, birds. I, I, I thought that was going to happen. Why? Why because, did you think? Because your deck has no flyers and can't be early aggressive. Well, yeah, he did cast moat. So. I cast moat on four. <laughs> I went moat for that. It was great. <laughs> it's a night for birds. It's a night for birds. Bird night, baby. A draw. Uh, that's fun. So we cast. Um, I think we hold on. And then we go the ninth doctor. Uh, and he has haste, so I'm going to attack you. And he gets exalted, so it's a 3 5. Beep beep. Jeez. I'm, I'm, hello, I'm the doctor. Bang! <laughs> Basically. <laughs> oh, man. Go I ahead. Not dead. Uh, I'm going to play this one for the planes. Um, yeah, I gotta, I'm gonna do this. Okay. I'm going to Invasion of Gobokan. Oh. Let's see your hand, please. Dang it. <laughs> Oh. Time Warp, Academy Erector, Chrome Box, and a Mountain. Jeez. What do I make you cast? Honestly, targeting the Chrome Box is hilarious. Because you'd have to pay two to play it. Yes. But, but I can cast a Time Warp next turn. Yeah, so I think the Time Warp is what I get. I can cast all of these next turn. Yeah, this will cost two more. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to put this here. And then what does this turn into? You can you fight it. Step for the pulse encounter and each creature that attacked this turn. It's not bad to actually flip. Yeah, it's if, not bad. If you got the if you got the wherewithal. It's only three, too. It's only three. So like I'm gonna dome it for one. I gotta look at the left side. Nice. Might as well. Pass. Uh cool. Okay. Uh, you had an upkeep, and then you had a second upkeep. I had two upkeeps, yeah. Okay. And I uh, did the same thing for both of them. This might be the doctor game. I'm hoping so. Uh, I am going to cast this Academy Rector. That is not going to do much unless I draw a Neophore. Uh, I'm going to attack you for three. Where did your other creature go? Where is it? Go ahead. Who's on your list? <laughs> of course there's a Rector. There's Food Chain. Why don't you? You don't know. What do you mean? <laughs> And I can use it to find Gallifrey stands. <laughs> hmm. 
There's no. <laughs> well, I'm gonna pay two. Oh, I, oh, that okay. I now get, I get it. What do you mean? There's no evil doctor, so there's no black one, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna play Rally the Ranks. I'm gonna call birds. It's now a two-two bird. Bomb, bomb uh, yeah, it gets bumped. It's flippy. It's flippy dippy. I will enter my end step and put a plus one counter on my bird. Nice. That's not good for me. That is not. But I missed the land drop. That's pretty good for me. That is not bad for me. Oh, this is fun. Um... I also drew. Uh, Thomas, I drew that. These are the three targets. Oh. Yeah. Look at the top three cards nice in my library, job. and I'm gonna draw. This is game two. I, I won. Yeah, he, yeah. he beat I won me. with the moat. He beat oh. me game one. It's a, it costs two more because of Gobble Let's do time warp. I'm trying. You're trying very hard. Let him cut. Let him cut. Hooker. Up under. Under. So I am going to draw these cards. Uh, look at that. We got a TARDIS. Oh. Uh, then I am going to attack you with the Ninth Doctor. For three. Take three again. Okay. Go ahead. If he plays like another creature, I'm screwed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I will crack it, paying a life. I will get a points. Because I'm tapped her. I should talk about it. I'm very tired of taking this damage from <laughs> Don't kill him, please. Wait, is the TARDIS? It's a 2 4. It's the same. It's the same. <laughs> same profile. Same size. You want to cut? Uh, you're good. Birds might have this one. I'm. I will pay. One. I'm, I'm being disrupted in the worst ways. I'm going to play a Shadow Spirit. That's a good card. Whip it. Okay, two. I'm going to exile this doctor. No! Um, I get a clue? No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you get a clue. Uh, I will hit you in the face for three. Oh. He has a two four. I will swing for three. I can't. Crew. Wait, how big is it? Isn't it crew two? It's crew two. Oh, it's a zero. Yeah. Okay, so three. Unfortunate. I take three. End of the turn. It'll get a plus one counter. Okay. Well, I'm gonna crack this clue. So why not? Okay. Uh, Cards. Seems like all my removal makes clues. It's very strange. Keep draw. I think we have to go deep. I am going to play this Chrome Mox. Okay. I'm not going to play this Chrome Mox. I'll play the Chrome Mox. Birds are really making Dave think. That's frustrating. <laughs> um, no, I'm not going to do the Chrome Mox. What I am going to do instead is I'm going to play. This unsettled mariner, which is a changeling, time lord doctor, huh. uh, and uh, whenever uh, you are a permanent, you control becomes the target of a spell or an ability. Uh, an opponent controls counter that spell or ability unless it plays. It, plays. it gives all my permanents ward one. Cool. I'm going to crew the TARDIS. Right. I'm going to attack you with a three five. Three. Mm. 
and go ahead. Playing it in a horizon canopy, mm -hmm. uh, which is perfect. Obey one. No, don't be perfect. Play a skull plan. No. I will then pay three to equip the shadow spirit and the skull plan. Oh boy, that's a lot of life you're gonna gain. Yeah, and then I will attack for this is four, yep. five, six, seven. seven. No, it's two, five, six, sorry. End of turn, I'll enter my main mm. phase two and stab this hit the Cool. Nice. This judge is familiar. <laughs> this owl <laughs> doing some work. Well, I think we have a good plan now. Oh, no. So I'm going to play this, Tundra, and I'm going to play, so, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to play this Chrome Box. And I'm going to exile Parting of Ways. Okay. Uh, I'm going to crew the TARDIS. Okay. I'm going to attack you with the TARDIS for three damage. Okay. I am going to cast Time Warp for two extra mana. Counter it with the judges familiar. So, um, regardless of whether you counter it or not, it cascades because I attacked with the TARDIS this time. Oh, that's upsetting. You know what? Go with it. You could counter the cascade or you could still counter the time warp, depending. Oh, true, because you cast it. Yep. And then you cascade for a four drop. So I get Jahora. Joyra? Joyra. <laughs> Jahora. Jor, Jor. Yeah, sure. Joyra. Is your hand empty? Yes. Okay, so Joyra's definitely resolved. Oh, okay, I'll draw two cards if I counter it. You will draw two cards, but you'll lose your attacker and you'll take a turn off essentially. That's true. But then I get a time warp. You get an extra turn. With Joyra and the target. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you guys see this hand? <laughs> you know what? A nine? I could, I could whiff. Could whiff. Or, or it could hit real hard. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Do it for the TV. Go for it. All right. Extra turn. Let's do the time warp again. <laughs> Just for that. Yep. <laughs> Good. Just jump to the left. Yeah, there's something to run. You put your hands on your hips. This is time. Um. Okay. So we draw. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> show the show the chat. Show everybody. Am I, should I be, am I dead? I think I might be dead. How is he dead, though? I think one better. Why is he dead? <laughs> <laughs> um, I can do this, and then I can do this, and then I can do this. Hell yeah. Oh god, that's a uh, lot of things you can do with one card. Um, so... Um, we're going to... Go to... Combat. Okay. Uh, Joyra is going to crew the TARDIS. We're going to swing with five? the the squad. That's fine. Yeah, five damage. The TARDIS attacked, so the first spell I cast this turn gets Cascade, and the first spell I'm going to cast is Aladamra's Call. Trigger Cascade. For one drop. Or less. Preordain. That's fine. We'll cast Preordain. Scry 2. Um, I don't need to draw. Uh, I don't need to draw that card, so none of these cards are good. Okay. Okay. 
do have mana open, it doesn't make sense for me to... Okay, you know what? If you beat me, you beat me. I think you got it. The card I am going to find... I am going to find Spellseeker. Oh, what's Spellseeker going to get you? Time Walk. Oh! I'm dead. <laughs> Game three. <laughs> That's all ten of my points, boyos. Damn. <laughs> um, so, Shadow Spear, Skull Quinn, mm -hmm. Jite, oh they are the only three targets for Stoneforge Pistic in the deck. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, man. Well, Look, I got there with a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> you did? I almost got there with an owl. I should have counted the time more. Um, yeah, probably. Um, Stoneforge, Stoneforge, is, Stoneforge Mystic is great. Well, again, I didn't have any other targets, but it would have just been play Stoneforge, play, uh, equip it with. Uh, yeah, equip it with all your stuff, and like, and then like, bring in your stuff for free or whatever. Like, yeah. You could have also at that point. I don't know how much, how many lands you had at that point. Four. If you had, yeah. So, you couldn't do the dragon. No, it was a lot of. Ah, uh, uh, man. Back and forth. Bye back and forth. Frank, bye, bye, Thomas. Bye, Thomas. Chat, say bye, bye Thomas. Thomas. Chat, say bye, Thomas, or else. <laughs> They'll be sad. Alright, well, I will be on the play. Once our computer starts, <laughs> stops pulling at dragons. Alright. Yeah, no, it's fine. I'm so happy with how this deck is performing. This deck is so stupid. Very funny. Ooh. It's risky. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay. Heck yeah. Ready? We're, we're in it to win it. Uh, yeah, I'm ready to go. Snow covered planes for a judge's familiar. No! <laughs> Pass! <laughs> Draw. Uh, we're going to play the Gallifrey Council Chamber. What is that? Uh, Gallifrey Council Chamber enters the battlefield. I surveil one, and then I add one uh, colorless mana to tap it. It's a land. Legendary land, or I can add one mana of any color to spend only on Time Lords or Alien spells. Oh. Hmm. Uh, ben it, ben it. It's not bad, but it's not good. So I think I will bin it. Uh, I'm going to bin a TARDIS. Oh, okay. Uh, and then, for zero mana, I'm going to suspend a Mox Tantalite. Yo! <laughs> That's a three, the turn three mox. <laughs> it is, but one uh, of any color, so it is actually the best mox. Technically. Go ahead. Well. Ah, well. I see how this is going. I will attack for one, and I will pass. Uh oh. <laughs> it's fine. I'm gonna. <laughs> no! <laughs> can I, can I even, I may cast this for when you draw it. Shh. Oh yeah, you need two mana. I need two mana. No! <laughs> yes! So now I know what he drew! <laughs> it's fine. I can cast this in seven turns. Um, I'm gonna play Trenzalore Clock Tower. <laughs> Add blue. Uh, blue and put a time counter on Trenzalore Clock Tower. Uh, and then for two mana tap, I remove 12 counters from it. 12 is a big number in this deck because, hey. Uh, Doctor. 12 is a big number in the, in the Doctor Who. Yes. Lore and canology. Uh, exile it, shuffle your graveyard and hand into your library, then draw seven cards. Activate only if you control the timeline. Interesting. I'm gonna just tap this for no value and put a counter on it. Get the clock started. Go ahead. Wow. One. Love it. Yes. I love this. Um, I'm gonna cast my mock soon. Yeah, you will. Um, I'm gonna play this Caracas. Oh, hello. And then I'm gonna pass the turn. Hey. Uh oh. Mm, that's a good card. One. 
Pass. Take one. I am going to brainstorm. Huh. Do I counter? <laughs> no. Nope. Doesn't pay one. You be fine. Uh, oh boy. Oh boy, chat. Oh boy! What do I got here? Okay. This is fun. Try that. And then... mm, but this doesn't actually do anything for me. So we'll take these two and the uh, uh, draw this, and then draw for turn. Oh wait! Oh wait! Oh wait! Sorry. Oh no! He f f he figured it out. I saw the line. I wasn't gonna say it. I'm upset. Ah oh, God. Oh wait. Yeah, that's a good one to put on top of my library. <laughs> ah, I know what he's doing. I love taking extra turns. Um, okay, untap. Upkeep. This goes off. Uh, then I get to draw a card. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Um, then I am going to play this uh, Temple Garden, untapped, and I'm going to play this Sylvan Karyatid. X-proof. X-proof. That's not fair. Uh, and then I get to play another turn. Wow, the Taking Turns deck takes uh. turns. Untap, I'll keep drop. Do you have River in this deck? You didn't put the Doctor's Wife in the Doctor deck? Listen. I didn't want to commit. I didn't want to commit like seventeen games rule violations. <laughs> yeah, drawing from the bottom of my deck. How am I gonna? <laughs> yeah. Um, I am going to play for my second turn. I'm gonna play this. Okay, you've got an extra turn. I'm oh, sad. <laughs> Don't yeah, do take that. your own action. <laughs> it's okay. Dave I play fair magic. Dave mentioned the table violation. I just take an extra turn. Uh, let's uh, let's fetch. Uh, Sorry, oh, I need the Caracas. No, 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 no. It's fine. I just realized you have the Caracas. Quite annoying. Oh, you have uh, some legendary creatures. Possibly. I know that deck does have a few. Quite. Um, let's get. I need red mana. Let's get Volcanic Island. Nah, I should drop. <laughs> Very real. Okay. Um, yeah, like, River is interesting, mm -hmm. uh, but she doesn't actively do anything that this deck wants to do. Like, the okay. blue-red hate, hate bear that, like, punishes your opponent for shuffling, great. But this deck just wants to just Go. constantly take extra turns and just uh, dirtle for a million years and then not <laughs> not actually get the combo. Okay. Uh, I kept a one-land hand uh, with a lot of potential, but uh, I, I, had, I had judges from where I've drawn a second land. I am going to play the sixth Doctor. Your God, what are you doing? Uh, whenever you cast a historic spell, copy it, except the copy isn't legendary. This, no. bi this ability triggers once each turn. I like this. Yep. Uh, go ahead. Oh my God, where are my lands? All right, well, I think uh, I think you'd rather have. Three <laughs> I've been doing well all up to this, up to this no. point. Yeah, he he. That's cool. Special. No, he main board cast a solitude. Yeah. Whoa. Um, I'll just pass for the attack and attack. Yep. So. Uh, this is up to three. To upkeep and draw. Well, I don't really know what to do now. <laughs> Perfect. I have a chance. <laughs> um. That is a land. Stanford? What is it? 
Uh, City of Traders, pretty good land. Uh, but I actually don't need to. Yeah, I should. I should cast that. Uh, I'm gonna play Gallifrey Stance. Oh god. Whoa. He can maybe win the game after this comes back. From exile? From exile. No, not likely. Um, that's, this is actually one of the best ways to trigger this because I get to copy doctors. Oh, so, you can get extra doctors. so I can get extra doctors. That's cool. Um, so you did a good job by getting rid of that. Now I don't know what to do. It seems good. You Go ahead. I could have had two of these, and then I could have constantly been casting more doctors. It would have been a laugh. End of turn. Mm -hmm. I'm going to exile the TARDIS from your graveyard. Yep, that seems good. Put a plus one counter on my line side. Mm hmm. It's only permanence, right? Uh, yeah. If I, if I had a permanent, he gets plus one counter. Ooh. Not my Trenzalore clock tower. Now I'm just gonna use it for a third mana so I can play an Archon of Amaria. That's really good. Yeah. Yep. <sighs> I don't wanna lose. <laughs> I don't want <laughs> I've I've come this far and I don't wanna lose. That's fine, the doctor always pulls something out of his Yeah, head. that's true. We're gonna make this legendary and bounce it with Paralysis. What does it do? Uh, each player can't cast more than one spell each mm. turn, and non-basic lands my opponent's control enter tapped. Oh, how does that work for suspend? Uh, when they uh, so suspend does cast it after it. Oh, that's garbage. Yeah. Oh, that's that's hot garbage. <laughs> It'll help. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry, coaching. Uh, no, no, sorry, coaching. I said it was the day of the birds, and it is. Birthday. Birthday. Happy birthday. birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All right. I'm counting my chickens before they hatch. Well, I can do this. One, two, three, four, five, six for Parting of Ways. Uh, exile the top five cards in my library. Uh, for each of them, put a number of time counters on that card equal to its mana value. If it doesn't have suspend, it gains suspend. So, five cards. Here we go. Bird. Ancestral Vision. Eight. So it gets zero. Oh, no. So I have to remove counters from this, so it, it actually just fizzles and goes in my graveyard. Um, we also can't cast it anyway. No. Oh my god, the best oh, one! No, the two rhinos. What is going on? No, Phil, more. help me. <laughs> Don't help him. This was the worst parting of ways I've ever seen in my life. Next turn, he gets, mana, next turn he gets a Gilded Goose and nothing else. <laughs> I get a bird. Yeah, I think, I think he's guys. just exile. Yeah, they, well, these these get cast? No. I, so, it, well, so you can't was cast it exiled? Or? It was exiled. So, if it, what does it what do you say? Is it exile control? the top five cards of my library. For each non-land card exiled this way, put a number of time counters yep. on that card equal to its mana value. Yep. If it doesn't have suspend, it gains suspend. But these so, they're just suspend. exiled. So, they are just exiled. They're exiled because with no counters on them. No counter because you can't count. Gross. Okay. Can't, oh, Dave. I am so sorry. This card is the swingiest. Like, either it's amazing or it's just no. terrible. Is that a pretty suit saying? So you can stack your deck. No, I'm gonna wait till Saga 3 and I'm gonna kill this one. Number nine, Sash. <laughs> Go ahead. Alright. Alright, Goodbye. Thank you. Rock. Sorry, I said a bad word. I'm, That's I'm okay. ashamed. You're, you're upset. A little bit. Um, so I can only play one spell. <laughs> <laughs> you played yourself. Lock the door! He said he would. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm gonna. Tempest to play this Raptor. Bird. Flying first strike. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not bigger than a goose. Not yet. Put my Lion Sash. Ooh. To dip it but I will equip the Lion Sash onto the Archon. Neat. And I'll hit you for four. Uh, take four. One, two, three, four. four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's. <laughs> Uh, enjoy your goose. I'm s I'm loopy. I haven't. He hasn't slept. <laughs> Untap, upkeep, uh, draw. 
main phase, second saga, time travel, add two counters to this thing. Oh, I'm getting close to 12. Um, yeah, but you have a waste in. I do. Um, I can't do it. I can cast a spell. You can't. You cast a goose. That's what I'm saying, he's just getting a goose next turn. This card. But I have a food token. You, have a food you know token. What, you know what that means. I'm gaining life. I'm gaining three life. Are you gonna need it now? Uh no, I'm good. Uh, I, if that's all I can do, and it is indeed all I can do, uh, I'm well, gonna pass. I saw foretell in another one. You can, like, foretell stuff. I can foretell stuff if I had a foretell card. Pass. Yeah, I'm I know um, I have a food card of some... Oh, look at this. Frank special. Hey. I really messed up by equipping that, and, um, a little upsetty. Upsetty spaghetti. Well, I'm gonna draw. Oh, I just fixed it. <laughs> okay, three. My cast counts as judgment. No. My choice is this. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> is there anything I can do? I can cast spells on your turn, but I don't do that. Uh, yep. So this just dies. Uh, Exile. Exile. Each permanent with the most votes or tied for the most votes. What did you vote for? I voted for this food, and then in in response, I sacrificed it. Okay. So you take five, and then gain three. You did two. Pass. Um, but I will use the fuck out uh, to do it, and then yep, yeah, uh, untap, upkeep, draw for turn. That was a that was a very good knockback, back, Jesus. Uh, you needed that. I did. Otherwise, I would have exploded. I am going to play. There we go, boys. We are getting the fourth doctor. What does he do? Fourth. <laughs> fourth. Ah ah ah. <laughs> uh, so the, this the third oh, doctor. this is the third doctor. Sorry, I'm losing my brain. It's okay. Uh, when the third doctor enters the battlefield, create your choice of clue token, food token, or treasure token, and it gets 1-1 one, one for each non-creature token I control. Um... Just got that food. Well, I can make another one. Oh, just in general? I thought it was yeah. a thing. That's cool. No, so it's... So what are you making? A food, a clue, or I think a I'm gonna make a clue, because I feel like that's a good thing for me to have. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, and then I am going to pass the turn because that's all I can do. I just realized you could have blocked with the goose. Oh, yeah. Do you want to gain the life? Sure. Okay, thank you. I'll take anything I can get right now. That's fair. Draw. Uh, the Fair Basilica. That's, that's neat. Yeah. It so bad. No, like, your deck is performing <laughs> exact, exactly the way that this deck was made to perform. I will attack for four. I will take four. Okay. I will pay one, exile, um, is there a non-land? There is a land. Okay, so I'll exile the permanent, get an extra plus one counter. So when this enters, you made a clue, and then it just gets bigger, and that's it? Yep. And it's trampled. Yeah, it's trampled. Okay. I'm gonna make a food. Okay. With the goose. Goose food. Okay.
Well, I can cast one spell each turn, so I might as well cast this one. Ten. He's gonna wasteland it one day. Maybe it's today. Uh, I'm gonna use this city of traitors and. Um, and a green. To play a food chain. Oh, hey. The viewer didn't like that very much. Okay. I think I I'm pretty sure I have to start aggressing somehow, so let's attack with this the third doctor. Oh. Is it condemn? I mean sure. No, like <laughs> Listen know. listen, like that's what you gotta do. I know. I just feel real bad I'm like, yeah, that's what you gotta do. Uh, listen, I there's I can't I can get out of this. It just depends on like what I draw, right? There is a way. I'm not dead yet. True. Cool. I have the potential for two foods. Okay. Go ahead. Should have two or three more life. This is important. I should have more life. You should have more life. I love that. Are you giving me two or three more life? I think I've hit you three times. So this one's actually hitting you for four. You should have three more life. So go down one. Wait, go up one or down one? Down one, because you're gaining three and then losing four. I already. Oh, oh. you're at seven, right? Okay. So if you so you should be at ten. Okay. I'm hitting you for four. Okay. Okay. Sure. Sorry. It's fine. Just realized. I love it. I'm gonna pay two for a Leonian Sky Hunter. That's bad for me. Two flyer. Uh, yes. I'm gonna make a food, uh, and then I am going to use a food. Uh, you know what? I should do this now. I'm gonna fetch. Uh, uh, I'm just finding a land that I can play off this marsh flats. Any land, any land. Uh, and then I'm going to crack this clue and draw a card. Oh, this is a. I'm trying. No, I know, and I'm like. Trying. If you remove this. What do I do? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, sorry, draw cards. There we go. Untap. Upkeep. Draw for turn. Man, it is crazy how much mana I have. Yeah. Don't you don't you think? You have a lot. Tropical you Islands? Have a tropical Island. Pass. Okay, end of your turn. Uh-huh. I should die now. You're a fateful absence here, bird. Okay, I am going to make a food. Okay. 
two food. And you get a clue. And I get another clue. You love giving me these things. Uh, does it destroy or exile? Destroy. Destroy. Okay. Uh, so it's still your end step. You could uh, there's no point now. I think whatever happens, happens. So let's do it. Okay. What do you tap those lines for? Oh, to make the... Do you want to tap that thing? What thing? The blue thing? Uh, I can tap it whenever. Oh, true. Okay. Okay. The last of them. So what I'm gonna do is pay three. Okay, I'm gonna pay one first to get rid of the bird. Sure. From your group, put a plus one down on my side. Yeah. And then the other three, I will play unbreakable formation. Mm -hmm. That's real good. They all get plus one, plus one, and indestructible and vigilance. That's real good. I will then enter combat. Uh, how did you have enough mana for all? Of them? What did you just do? Three. What did you do? This is for the lion side. It's just one mana for it's, the lions? Yeah, one mana, exile card. Yeah, that card's card. great. Love that card. It's just a white screen. Yep. And then three for unbreakable. Uh-huh. So that's uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, it's eleven. Mm-hmm. Okay, great. I am going to sacrifice two foods to gain six life. Okay. Uh, one of them is going to use the Transformer Club door. Yeah, I uh, screwed up, and I'm not going to be able to deal with that clock tower, so... <laughs> I can't use it unless I have a doctor. Oh, shoot. I know. Okay. Um, and I have no... Well, let's... Who knows? Maybe this could be the, the, the crazy doctor. Let's Come see. on. What's happening? I'm gonna oh, sacrifice clue? this clue and draw a card. Okay. Um, cool. Uh, I'm gonna take how much? Eleven. You're good. That is my turn. He's about to do 20 damage to me in this turn. By casting one spell. Casting one spell. Yeah. It's, uh, uh, Pyroclasm. Technically, you can do nine on a fireball. No. That doesn't do it. So here's what I have. That's game. Okay, good game. I have Restore Balance, which I can only cast... I have to wait yeah. six turns. I have current several summoning. I need a legendary uh, creature or planeswalker in play, mm -hmm. and this cascades, which is two spells, not one spell. Yeah, so you wouldn't be able to, you'd either you'd cast the cascade. This card. Very good. Oh man, it breaks everything I'm trying to do. Food chain. Yeah, whatever. Legendary creature, legendary creature, and whatever. Good game. Jeez. Oh, what's my next card? So uh, we have oh. we have confirmed in a fight birds. between birds and doctors. The birds win. Birds win. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, if Birdemic Shock and Awe has taught me anything, yeah. the birds win. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, well, we hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you're on Twitch, follow us. If you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell. I'm going to put it above Dave's head. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.